Hey guys, today we're going to take a little look at G.I. Joe's Tiger Shark. Of course, this is a uh, basically a straight repaint of the uh, water moccasin, Cobra water moccasin. Um, it's a beautiful boat. It's an airboat, as you can see. And uh, I really dig the... Uh, I really dig the the design of this. It's always been an awesome vehicle, in my opinion. Um, I'm not big on a lot of Tiger Force stuff, but for the Tiger Shark, uh, this totally works because I mean it's on the water, and uh, you know, um, the loud colors don't don't really hurt so much. <laughs> um, honestly, it reminds me a lot of the uh, you know. Vietnam Tiger Force, although uh, they're not very celebrated these days, you know, after uh, history found out kind of, you know, what they did, but, um, but uh, they do a lot of uh, Tiger colors in the military also at like air shows and, uh, and stuff like that, um, so it's not totally unheard of um, to paint up a, you know, war vehicle like this. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, as far as the Tiger Force goes, this is one of my favorites, I would say. Um, some of them just really didn't work. Uh, some of them really did. And this is one, in my opinion, that worked. Um, maybe I'm biased because I like the vehicle to start with. Uh, but uh, um, it, looks green. it looks good in green uh, as a moccasin, but in Tiger colors, it, it looks great as a G.I. Joe vehicle. Um, I, in mine, I've got a uh, topside piloting and a DEF cutter up in the gunner station. And, uh, as you can see, mine's a little sun faded. The, uh, all these guns here and the fan and the fins, um, are supposed to be like a bright red color. Um, mine have faded into like an orange, which I don't mind so much. Because it kind of blends in with the rest of the the paint job itself. Um, the original color is something like this here. So as you can see the difference, it's pretty pretty gnarly difference there. Um, of course, this is the little ski uh, torpedo thing uh, mounts on the bottom here on the uh, on the water moccasin. And it's supposed to shoot backwards and, you know, take out somebody following you or something. Uh, mine's a little busted on this one, so it won't snap on. But um, this is probably the most common missing part of any moccasin or tiger shark. Um, you'll, you'll find these. A lot of these are gone. Um, and a lot of people just forget about them. A lot of times you'll have it on the bottom. And uh, not even know it unless you flip it over to look, you know. Um, everybody forgets about this piece. It's not really that uh, consequential to the operations of the boat itself. So, you know, we just set them aside and, and whatever. Um, of course, this is an airboat. So we've got, uh, you know, vanes to steer with. And uh, what's really cool is they have a little wheel here at the top. And if you spin it, you yeah, actual, got actual fan motion here, and uh, it's pretty nice. Adds a little bit of play features for playtime, you know. And uh, of course, we've got a removable engine cover. It's always nice. And uh, again, all the sculpting's identical to the uh, to the moccasins, so um, nothing really new here. But, uh, just a great little vehicle. Um, of course, carries uh, up to four um, comfortably. We've got the driver, um, the gunner, and then you can put a, a figure on each side if you want, kneeling down or, you know, standing up, getting ready to jump off or whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, all in all, it's a really great boat. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Tiger Force, uh, but I do like this vehicle. 
and uh, it just kind of it kind of worked, you know. Um, pretty interesting. Um, of course, it's just a mid-sized boat, uh, so it's not going to be that formidable in the water, uh, unless you maybe add, you know, a devil fish or two, and uh, then you know maybe. You know, uh, maybe you might have a good sized little navy, you know, uh, some fast attack boats and whatnot. And uh, these would all be, of course, good uh, flanking your whale, um, you know, providing cover for them or whatnot. Uh, or just quick insertion vehicles, you know. Um, but uh, by itself, like I said, alone, it's kind of, uh, it's not a whole lot of anything you know you got like four cannons and a uh, and a rear facing torpedo so not a lot of firepower um, but again if you uh, you know if you have a fleet of these or uh, or if you double fish to go with it uh, it makes for a nice you know a nice little navy uh, of course we got DEF cutter here he's a little easier to find than the uh, the original version one cutter that came with uh, you know, the whale hovercraft, of course. Uh, missing a crotch here. He's, he's a little busted up. but Normally, he just hangs out on the tactical battle platform and, uh, you know, oversees operations there and whatnot. And then, uh, of course, we've got a movable windshield here to get the guys out. we got topside chilling in his, uh, you know, Navy best. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, of course, this came with no drivers, uh, so you can basically put anybody you want in it. Uh, Tiger Force Roadblock looks real good up in the, uh, up in the turret there. Um, but uh, you can really put anybody in here, you know. Tiger Force guys look good. Uh, any of the naval guys look good. And uh, just overall pretty cool vehicle. Um like I said, uh, same as the moccasin, uh, but the paint deco is a little bit, you know, unique, and that's always nice. Uh, one thing to watch out for: the handles on these cannons tend to break off. As you can see, I got one broken. No big deal though. And uh, and uh, your vein connector here; uh, these tend to break really easily as well. Uh, mine's still connected on this one, but my moccasin is broken. So, uh, just keep an eye out for those. And, you know, of course, stickers. Uh, the water will eventually wear your stickers out at some point. And, I mean, that's just to be expected, you know. But it's a water vehicle, and it's, it's meant to play within the water. So, uh, does it float? The moccasin absolutely floats, although mine takes on a little water after five minutes or so. Uh, this one, I have not yet submerged, um, but I'd imagine it's the same mold. So as long as it's got a good seal at the connection points, which mine mm, might have. I don't know, it's a little snappy there. Uh, if it's got a good connection, it should hold, and it should, uh, it should float. Um, but again, this is the, uh, the Tiger Shark, uh, pretty cool vehicle, thought I'd share with you guys, and, uh, one of the few Tiger Force, uh, vehicles I've got in my entire collection, actually, but, uh, I dig it, and, uh, uh maybe you do too, uh, if you do, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think, uh, if you hate it. Let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's the Tiger Shark. Uh, it's always fun bringing you guys reviews. And, uh, if you have any requests for any, uh, also leave them down in the comments. And I'll get to them as soon as I'm able. And, uh, alright. Well, thanks for coming. And we'll see you next time.